And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac, September 17, 1683, 334 years ago today. A very big day for our knowledge of a very small life form. For that was the day Antony von Leeuwenhoek of Holland wrote to the Royal Society in London to tell them he'd used his homemade microscope to discover tiny organisms in human dental plaque. The Delft University of Technology in Holland has recreated the view through his microscope. Their motion was strong and nimble, he wrote, and they darted themselves through the water. They were bacteria, single-celled organisms that live and thrive in virtually any environment on Earth. One estimate puts their numbers worldwide at five nonillion. That's a five, followed by 30 zeros. Among the places where bacteria romp is the human body. On the upside, the billions of bacteria we each play host to help with digestion, among other things. On the downside, of course, they can also cause disease. To counter their threat, modern science has created antibiotics and antibacterial hand scrubs, which mostly have served us well. But in an unintended consequence, bacteria are fighting back, as the late Dr. Robert Mullering of Harvard University told us in 2013. This is a ticking time bomb because of the fact that the bacteria are, are developing resistance mechanisms more rapidly now than we can find new antibiotics. As a result, ours is the age of so-called superbugs, bacteria that even the most powerful drugs are hard-pressed to stop. Tiny organisms posing a very big challenge. Little did Antony von Leeuwenhoek know. <laughs>